Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm kickstarting this year off with like loads of vlogs I feel like. But um, today I have just gotten ready, done my simple face. I mean I'm not really fully ready yet, I still need to sort my hair out. I'm just going to take it out of my plait and spruce it up a little bit. Um, but we're going to be going to Bista today and I love going to Bista. It can be a little bit hit and miss at times. Um, but I love going there, having a stroll around, looking at all the shops, and although it's a little bit very cold outside, um, it's really nice and sunny and it's not raining. So we thought, you know what, let's go to Vista during the weekday and see what's happening there, see what kind of shops are there. They're always like adding new shops and making them bigger and all of that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going to Vista and I'm super excited. Haven't been for like over a year. I feel like I did a Vista vlog last time I went, but um, yeah, haven't been in ages. But um, I thought I'd take you guys along with me, see what we get up to. I think we're gonna go out for dinner later as well, which will be so much fun. Enough of me blabbering. I'm gonna go sort my hair out, get my bag ready, get everything sorted, and then that way we can head on out to Vista. For those of you guys who don't know what Vista is, it's a shopping village. It's actually a really, really cute little, like, it pretty much looks like a village, but it is um, where there's loads of like outlet stores, but there's a whole bunch of different brands on there from like Dior and Celine and Gucci. And they've also got like homeware stuff. They've got some like really lovely um, kitchen shops. They've got like Le Creuset there. But everything is like at a discounted price. And I love me a good bargain. I don't actually know if I need anything. I'm trying to be really mindful about the things that I buy. But um, I'm gonna go and have a look and we're just making a little day of it. But I will also leave a link to the, their website so you guys can see what kind of shops they have. It's a really cute little area, um, kind of near Oxford, I think. Um, but yeah, thought I'd just let you guys know what it is in case you're wondering like where the hell is she going or what is she talking about. Um, but yeah, so now I am really gonna stop blabbering, gonna get myself ready, do my last few bits and then head on out. I'm casually wiping my car down because I haven't done it since Tupac was so muddy back here. Look at this. I need to agitate the car for a clean. <laughs> Lastminute.com vibes here. cold and we're just gonna go to a whole bunch of different shops soak it all in haven't been here for so long um, and it's nice and quiet as well so tip if you've got any weekdays off time to come so guys we are done at Vista and then we thought Whilst we were here, oh my god, our food's here. A little interruption there. But basically, um, we're all done in Bista, and I feel like I didn't really vlog properly, but there is a thing called the apartment, and it's got the, this really cool like little area where you can chill out. It's doggy friendly as well. But um, basically, they have like this hands-free shopping thing, and you get 10% off. There's like loads of little perks. But um, I'll show you all the things that I got from there. I didn't actually end up getting that much, mainly like home stuff, in a sense. But now we're at this amazing restaurant called Mowgli. We just got here and it's filled with fairy lights. It looks amazing. And it's like a street food, like Indian restaurant in Oxford. And I've never, we've never been here, right? To Westgate Shopping Center, like we've never ever been here, but it's so pretty. And we're gonna enjoy some yummy food. And then I will maybe tomorrow or in the next couple of days, I'll show you guys um, all the things I got from Vista. I thought I'd be vlogging more whilst I was there, but it was so cold, I felt like I couldn't even like do much of it. So, right now, I'm gonna kick start this evening's dinner with some yummy food. It looks so good. So I've just picked up my camera to 
continue vlogging and I realized I didn't even like end the Bista shopping experience for you guys. So I thought I'd quickly sit down. By the way, I've just gotten ready. Ignore the hair. I'll explain that in a second. But I'm going to very quickly show you guys what I picked up from Bista. Uh, I feel like I need to prop my camera somewhere. Let me figure that out first. <laughs> Okay, this will do for now, but I'm going to quickly show you guys what I picked up from Bista. I've already started using a lot of the products because it's been a few days <laughs> since I last picked up my camera. But one of the things that I was itching to get was a new pair of headphones. And I was using like the Bose ones. Um, I, f I forgot which ones they're called. They're like the wireless ones. And the like, like material around the ears were like coming off and I'd get like black stuff just like on my face randomly and I wanted to pick up some new ones so I managed to get these really really beautiful headphones from Bang & Olufsen and I think these are the H7s I'll leave a link to them below but um this isn't the brand new version this is like the slightly older version that I got but I love the gold and the grey and the beige vibes and they look great, they're so comfortable. They are, I believe, like noise cancelling, so you can't really hear anything when you've put them on. And they also have really amazing sound quality. My old car used to have Bang & Olsen like speakers in it. Um, but really, really, really love these. They were really expensive, but I feel like sometimes when I'm like editing or if I really need to be concentrating, this like really, really helps with keeping that focus. Also, they're great for meditation if you want to block out any kind of noise going on in your house and you want to pop something on your ears and just listen to some meditation music. These are great. I wear these all the time on my walk. I listen to my meditation playlist on here when I take tubes out for a walk. Speaking of tubes, he's being such a good boy. Let me show you guys him. We are do a groom. Yes, we are. But, oh my god. He's gotten very big recently, haven't you, Dubli? So, my fur's gone very long. And I'm just being a good boy. He was literally just sitting there, like, staring at me. <laughs> like, what is she doing? Hello, Dubli. So, yeah, I... What was I saying? Yeah, I wear them on my walk all the time, and I love them. I haven't even charged them yet. I'm still getting to used to, like, how to use them, because I used to have, like, a volume button somewhere and now i don't know where the volume button is on this i need to figure them out but i really 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 like them and they're so comfortable i think that's the one thing that i really wanted comfort and obviously like the sound quality the newest ones were really expensive and i felt like the sound was better on this so and i love the color on it so i got that um next up i have some smelly stuff i thought i was gonna leave bista with like quite a lot of shopping bags but that didn't really happen and i'm I'm quite proud of myself because I'm trying to be more mindful of my shopping habits. Um, but I did actually get some of these refill bottles from Rituals. So I love reed diffusers. I try not to burn that many candles anymore. I'm just using the ones up that I have unless they're like natural candles. Just because I don't want to be burning chemical scents in the house. Um, so I burn a lot of incense sticks which are all natural. Um, I've got a few natural candles. Um, I'll leave some of my favourite brands linked below. Um, Temple of Incense and Amora candles are some of my favourites but um, yeah I picked these up because we have one of these on our bedside table and yeah it just makes our bedroom smell really really nice we have some dotted downstairs as well like one in the bathroom um, we've got one in the living room and yeah I picked up um, two of these so this, these are for our uh, bedside table so I've got this one here which is the Ritual of Sakura which we already have um, so I'm just going to tip this in once um, the liquid has run out and then I've got this one which is the Ritual of Jinx. The Ritual of Sakura is a rice milk and cherry blossom scent and this one is um, a sacred lotus and jujube scent and they're really really beautiful. This one we already have but the um, other one is a new one and I was just like do you know what switch things up a bit um, and then I actually bought one more Rituals um like black diffuser it's like i think like an intense one um but that i've already put out in the living room and i thought i picked up fig and i picked up amber and by the time i got home i'd already opened it and i was like Ugh. so i mean it still smells nice but i really wanted the fig one it's beautiful but i feel like it, i don't know i feel like it's not really smelling that much because i've put it near the tv i don't know anyways we move um i also went to penhalians and i picked up Basically, whenever anyone comes to our house and they go downstairs in the toilet and like wash their hands, they always come out saying that soap and hand cream you have in there is insane. And we'd ran out of that soap for quite a while. 
and I was like, I need to pick some up. And um, if you know about this scent or if you smell this scent before, you'll know exactly what they're talking about and what I'm talking about. But basically, I picked up two more of these hand washes. These are the Penhaligon's Halfetti Body and Hand Wash. We use this just as hand wash and we just get compliments anytime anyone goes in. Even if people have already been here and they'll come back and be like, man, that hand stuff you have in there is incredible. Um, so I'm going to pop this in to our downstairs bathroom and the smell is just, it's insane. I actually have the perfume here as well. <coughs> Wait, quiet! But um, yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, hold that thought, doorbell just rang. I feel like I'm jumping from one place to another, but basically I mentioned about ignore the hair because I'm going to get my hair done today um, and Nikki is finally back in Birmingham and I managed to squeeze in an appointment with her. So we're gonna go sort, I mean, it's still like a little bit wet from the shower. As you know, I'm growing my greys out, which I'm so, I'm like, I'm loving. I'm genuinely loving it. But I put this thing up on my Instagram I'll check the poll numbers when I get to the salon, but um, I was like, should I go shorter or should I keep it long? And like over 50% of you guys have told me to go shorter, so we'll see what happens. I feel like Nikki's going to be like, let's not go too short. But um, we're going there now and going to go see Nikki. She's at a new salon because um, she's splitting her time between here and Dubai. By the way, if you don't know who Nikki is, she is my dear, dear friend and she's been also doing my hair for like eight years, eight, nine years now and she is an angel, she's an absolute angel, she's like the hair god, um, but yeah, let's go, otherwise I'm gonna get late <laughs> to get our hair done, I'm so excited. Hello, we are at the salon and I'm about to get my hair sorted out. Look at it, I literally, haven't washed it or done anything to it in a very long time but I'm so excited to I think we're gonna go a little bit shorter maybe cut like quite a hefty amount off um, and start fresh I'm still loving my silvers but that's the vibe and I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey so we can see what my hair looks like yes! And just like yeah. that, my hair is all washed. And I've had some treatments in it, I had some masks in it. Now, um, it's time to do the haircut, chop, and then style. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. And just like that, I am back home. I am loving, loving my shorter hair. So my hair is a lot darker right now. 
still got my silvers peeking through and I'll give it a couple of weeks for the colour to really settle and then I will have the most long lasting beautiful balayage hair it's just oh I feel so good I feel like I've cut away so much like dead ends obviously physically dead ends but like also I just feel so much lighter and I feel so much more happier and I feel like I've just like got this like new lease of energy in a weird, weird way but um yeah I thought I'd just show you guys my hair in my little office now that we're back home and oh I just I love it so much uh, but thank you so much for watching this little vlog um, I hope you guys are enjoying these little vlogs that I'm posting on my YouTube and uh, let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see next any vlogs that you want to see um, but I think that's everything from me for now and I'll hopefully see you guys all in my next video bye